what's up guys let's spiral into our next question for today we have spiral matrix 2 so in spiral matrix 1 which i didn't solve right now but i i have read the problem and it's way easier than this we need to iterate the matrix in a spiral form and we need to return the matrix but in this question what we are given is a n integer that's it and we need to return a n by n matrix if it's square it's easy to do and we need to fill it like a spiral for example we need to fill one here two three four five six seven and then nine here it is quite simple if you have studied uh, 2d matrices this is the most easy problem uh, of one of the basic problems that's taught to us like iterating uh, the 2d array in a spiral form so i've already coded the solution and uh, i'll be explaining you the code it's really simple you have uh, to do nothing but take four variables like the column start uh, I need this image I'm so sorry that I am doing this again like what I did yesterday I'll be needing this image and it will be much easier for you to understand then here if I could just select this and cut it out and paste it somewhere else, it would be much easier for me. Like cut, paste, not here. Yeah, paste somewhere else. Yeah, here. And if we could increase the size, yes, we can. Good. Now, give me my pencil, not the pencil. I need the brush. Now, this is a column here. Column. This is another column this is another column this is a row this is another row and this is the last row so what we are going to do is we are going to take four variables the first variable is a start of the column let's call it cs column start which will be here a end of the column let's call it ce which will be here a start of the row let's call it rs which will be here a end of the row let's call it re which will be here now it is clear what we need to do in the first iteration let's just focus on one row one uh, loop at a time so in the first loop what we need to do is we need to iterate over this one this two and this three it is quite simple what we need to do is we need to start from uh, cs and we need to go to ce and what value do we need to modify is the column is changing if you can see the row is constant and what is the value of that row it is c r s let's come back to our code here uh, in this code i have taken four columns four variables as you can see this one is zero initially this one is n minus one this one is zero this one is also n minus one let me hold my mic like this so my sound is clear now again coming back to the problem what we do here is the basic terminating condition i'll tell you at the end of the code let's just focus on one for loop at a time right now so in this for loop if you can see we are start we are beginning from i equals to column start and we go to column end and we increment the i and what value do we do we modify is the matrices the column is changing i and the row is constant and the value of the row is row begin and after this row after this column ends what we need to do then right now when this column ends we don't need this whole area you see this now what is this area called this area is row start and uh, what uh, how do we eliminate this area from our loop next time we can increment this from zero let's just add one to it so now rs will point to the second row it has it will do nothing to the first row so we won't even need to touch the first row again let's move forward now we are on this four we we are on we need to iterate over here but as you can see that the three has all already been iterated so now all we need to do is iterate this four and five how do we do that so we begin our loop from rs 
to re so from the row start to row end we literate uh, from i equals to rs to i is less than equal to re and i we increment the i each time and the value that we change is as you can see the row uh, the row is changing right now it was first it is 4 here then it is 5 here so the row is changing and the column is constant and which column is it it's the column end so in the second loop what we do is we iterate from row begin to row end and then we change the row indices and keep the column and indices uh, as same and now once we are done with this what we need to do is we don't need to touch this whole area and what is this area called it is called column and which column is it right now it's the column end so we need to decrement its value from n minus 1 again minus 1 from it so column end will now focus on this area so column end is right now here again in our fourth loop what we need to do we need to iterate over this but 5 has already been iterated we need to iterate over this 6 and we need to iterate over this 7 now how can we do that uh, right now where we are we are at a column we are at the last row and and we are at the last column this this point and where we want to go is we want to go to this point so we need to change our column so let's let the before that uh, if I f so I'm so sorry I forgot that we have changed two values we have changed this value and this value so if I can give you an example here if my matrix is something like this it's a 2 by 2 matrices so if I decrement my uh, column or if I increment my row begin then those become equal so we need to check for this condition again that is our row still less than the row end is our column begin still less than the column end and once we have checked the value then what we need to do is we are back again here we need to start from column end go to column start and we need to keep the row end as constant and change the value for the columns now we are doing what what we are doing here is what we are doing here is what we <laughs> I'm so sorry if you can hear this sound just ignore it what we are doing here is uh, we are mm, here after checking this condition what we are doing here is we start from the column and we go to go till column begin and we decrement the i because we are going from here to we are going from this to this direction that's why we need to decrement the i and uh, we in we also now once we have done this what do we not need to touch now is this area uh, this this area we don't need it anymore and this is row end so we can decrement the row end value by one now we are at that eighth index and what we need to do is we need to go from this to this Other, if it was a bigger matrix let's consider a four by four then we need to go from go to this direction now so as you have already guessed we need to go from re to rs while in while decrementing i and we will keep the rcs constant and we'll change the value for the rows after that it is a constant recursive loop although i'm not using recursion it's a while loop uh, that i'm using but this can be done with recursion too and uh, again if you can see the last we are going from row end to row begin and decrementing the i changing keep keeping the row begin as constant and changing the i here incrementing and changing our uh, values here and for the only corner case that is when n is equal equal to one we need to create the same array and we need to uh, make its only element equal to one and return that array return that matrices that's it so this was the solution guys i hope you could understand this thank you